Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, everything that you guys do for the channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, with that being said, Pisces, I am going to put down some holy water before we get into this reading. So good in the neighborhood. Pisces. So, you know what time it is. Hmm. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. Dong, presiding. You can all lay down and enjoy the air conditioning for me. And thinking about me while you're keeping cool. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. Ooh, wow, there's a huge deer in my yard. And we will quit it together. Oh, there's a baby, too. Oh, it's a brand new baby. Oh, I love it. So, oh, here comes Kitty Boom Boom. She sees it. She's like, whoa. <laughs> oh, so cute. Show me the energy of the person. My, oh, let's go top to bottom. Show me the energy of the person. My, oh, what's going on here? Let's go top to bottom again. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful. Okay. Almost got through that deck all the way. Okay, there we go. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. What's going on with the death card? Like, every reading, it's been like, the death card comes out. Show me the energy of the person my... Okay, right on. Okay, Pisces. We have got the Fool, we have got the Queen of Wands, we've got Death here, the Tower. The overall energy for the reading is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So your person's stability is showing up here on my table. Looks like somebody here is wanting to get to know you better. Pisces, the Queen of Wands could be your energy or their energy. Queen of Wands, though, she knows her worth, she knows her value, she knows what she wants, and she gets what she wants no matter what at the end of the day. Death card. This is about changes. It could also be about, you know, it could literally be a death, depending on what comes out. We'll figure it out. And then we've had the tower. So your person's beehive uh, got hit here by uh, lightning. And uh, yeah, so they might have to rebuild some kind of idea or structure here. Okay. So, mm, mm, mm. what are we going to do? We're going to talk to the, yeah, we're going to talk to the tower first. We're going to definitely talk to that tower first. Okay. So why is the tower down here in this person's energy? What needs to be rebuilt here? What's this tower about? Well, they found something out here. It was like almost this energy of how do I want to put this here real quick? Mm. What they thought had made them happy is not what really makes them happy. So they feel like work was what was really important to this person. Like work brought this person a lot of happiness, a lot of money. Okay. And then something here has happened with their work. What's happened with their work? What's happened with their work? What's happened with this person's work? What's happened with this person's work? 
What's happened with her work? <clears throat> Seems like they didn't have the success that they needed to. <clears throat> so now maybe your person needs to find a different career, maybe a different job. But yeah, it's showing me that their their work wasn't what they thought it was going to bring, which they thought it was going to bring a lot of recognition and a lot of success. They felt like they were going to have victory, and all of a sudden now it's completely changed <clears throat> for this person. So they're not doing so well at their job. Okay. Sometimes that comes through. Okay. So why is the Queen of Wands down here on the table in this person's energy? Why is the beautiful Queen of Wands in this person's energy, please? Why is this beautiful Queen of Wands in this person's energy? Show me the Queen of Wands. Why is she here? Queen of Wands. Why are you here, baby? Sure. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Let's go Queen of Wands with the Six of Cups, please. Queen of Wands with the Six of Cups. Sure. Mm. This is somebody from your past here who is trying to make a decision about you now. So what is this decision they're trying to make about Pisces? It's like they want... It's not even that. It's I, I don't even need to... I don't really even need to clarify that. I'm just going to stop myself right there. Because this person from your past is wanting to reboot this connection. Okay? And I will clarify it. So why is this person wanting to reboot the connection? Why are they wanting to reboot this connection? Why are they wanting to reboot this connection? Whoa. Why? Because this person here has gotten clarity for themselves after a period of time where this person was at a deadlock and at an impasse on what to do with this situation. So if you guys were not talking, this person was stuck. They didn't know what to do. They were like, when you don't know what to do, what do you do? You don't do anything, right? I mean, that's what you typically do. So now it seems like all of a sudden they've gotten clarity here for themselves that they want to give this, uh, they want to resuscitate this connection, okay? So somebody wants to resuscitate this connection. Okay, whether you want it to or not, that's up to you. I'm just here to read the energy, so don't get at me, okay? <laughs> so what's the death down here in this person's energy for? Show me the death card and why is this here in this... Okay, why is this here? Yeah. Somebody here is wanting their emotional fulfillment. Yep. This person is wanting their emotional fulfillment. So maybe this connection had once ended here. And now, all of a sudden, somebody's like, you know what? I'm really into that Pisces. Pisces always treated me really well. I have a lot of feelings. We have a lot of history. I trust Pisces. I'm comfortable with Pisces. And that's why a lot of people from your past come back. Because why? The dating scene is not easy. S to go out and find new people is... you, you got to put in new work, right? And that's not always easy, especially when it comes to online connections, because basically people don't really... An online connection is nothing. Like, you just meet somebody online, there's no strings attached, you don't know their auntie, they don't know your auntie, they don't know your friends, there's nothing. So there's no accountability, okay? So starting new connections nowadays is hard because there's a lack of accountability. So... I'm getting somebody, there's some accountability here. So they, you guys might have mutual friends here or family members or job or something that, you know, where you guys, there's some kind of form of accountability here. So let's talk to the uh, fool. Let's go fool, please. Show me the fool. Show me the fool. What's the fool here with the high priestess? The 
fool here with the high priestess. This is somebody coming out who has pushed this back, who has not shared this with you. And this is somebody that's coming towards you here. Wanting growth here. Wanting to work on this connection. Wanting basically to... How do I want to say? They want, they want the crown. They want your crown here, Pisces. <laughs> Hopefully they don't want Pisces' crown. Let's get a little deeper on that Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. What's we got here? Eight of Pentacles. Can we just continue to work on this? This is what I'm focused on. I'm focused on you. I'm focused on this connection. And can we continue to work on this? Okay. I'm going to clear it off with the White Sage. We're going to get the final messages. See what else this person wants to tell you. Da, 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 da. Uh, what else do you want to tell Pisces, please? Sure. You're going to be getting some communication here. For sure. For sure. All right. Not for all. This is a past life soulmate connection. They feel a strong tie to you. Yep, this person here is getting ready to come tell you that they want to continue to work on this connection. So whether you want to or not, that's up to you. I'm just here. I read the energy. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated, make sure you click that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate everything you guys do, and I love you guys as always. So, tarot's adjourned. I'll see you later, baby cakes.